Hello and welcome to my e-lesson and in this video we will learn one of the most important formulas in Microsoft Excel which is the if formula. It is also called the if statement. So what it helps you to do is based on certain logical conditions which you can give to Excel it will define a result for you. Like I have taken the example over here of the movie Jurassic World and the collection that it has done and the cost that it incurred. Now, of course, these numbers are imaginary. And then I will be using three examples. All right. I'll be explaining them as we move along. So based on the conditions we will set, we will get answers such as yes or no, hit or flop or hit average or flop. All right. I have also mentioned the exact formula that I have used over here. This is also mentioned in the description so that you can practice easily. You can also go to myelesson.org to download the practice file for if formula or if statements. So now let us start. Now I am getting this yes or no over here with the help of the if formula. It is saying that is the collection of the movie greater than the cost. So we are getting a yes. Let me show you if I make it smaller. So it's saying no over here. So the collection is lesser than the cost. So it's saying no. Even we are getting flop over here. Correct. I'm pressing a control Z to undo the changes. Now I'll show you how I applied it. So to apply the if statement, you have to start it by typing is equal to and then type if if and it says checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. So what are we going to check? We will find that after we enter this bracket and it says logical test. All right. So this is highlighted in black logical test. So a logical test would be that this number should be greater than this number. So I selected this cell and then entered the greater than symbol and selected this cell. So if this cell is greater than this cell, so if this cell is greater than this cell, then comma value if true. So what value would you want to come over here if it is true? So if it is true, we would like to say yes. And in case you want to type any alphabets like I am typing, then please ensure that you are typing them within these quote symbols. All right. And then type another comma and you will move to value if false. That means if this is not greater than this one, that is the collection is lesser than the cost, then the answer should be no, which again I'm mentioning in quotes. And then I will close the bracket, press enter and I'm getting my answer. Yes, over here. So if I make the cost to be higher, say I'll add one more zero over here, two more zeros. So it says no, because now collection is lesser than cost. So if I take away these two zeros, then the collection is higher than the cost and it turns to yes automatically. So this is the if statement in the most simplest forms. Now let us move to slightly different, slightly difficult if statement usage, which is very common. All right. So what it is going to do is that it is going to find out whether this amount is greater than this. And if it is 1.5 times greater than the cost, that is, if the collection is 1.5 times greater than the cost, then we should get a hit. If it is not greater than 1.5 times of the cost, then it should be a flop. So we are getting a hit over here because this is 1.5 times greater than the cost. How do we apply that? Let me show you. So we will type is equal to if we will open the bracket and then we will open another bracket because we are doing a calculation. All right. First of all, we need to find out that the difference between these two and then we need to find out whether that difference is 1.5 times of the cost. So for that, we will first select the collections, then minus symbol and then select the cost. So now we will get the actual profit, correct? We will close the bracket and then we will see whether this profit is 
1.5 times of the cost. So we will open the bracket again and we will type 1.5. This is the multiplication symbol, the asterisk and then select this cell. So we are finding first the profit that we are subtracting this number from this number over here. See C4 minus D4 which is collection minus the cost. So we know the profit now and then we are multiplying 1.5 into D4. All right. Now this was the logical test. Now value if true. If it is true that means the movie is a hit. If it is not true then it is a flop. I will close the bracket and this is a hit. See and if I make it say instead of 3 I make it 2. So it is a flop. Over here you see. This is saying yes because this number is still greater than this number. That was our first example. Over here it's saying flop. And in the third one we are getting average. I'll explain why. So because the difference of these two numbers is not 1.5 times of the cost. Hence it is a flop. So if I make it 3, 0, then it is a hit. Alright. Now a slightly more difficult example of the if statement. Herein, my condition is the same over here that we used in getting a hit or a flop but I also want to define an average situation wherein I'll mention the conditions such as hit, flop and average. So I'll explain it to you like this as we move along in this if statement. If bracket open logical test. So we'll add another bracket. If this cell, that is the collection, is lesser than or equal to the cost, all right, then we should call it a flop. So value if true would be flop, all right. Now I am using another if formula for the false statement. So if this is false. That means if this is greater than the cost, then what would happen? So instead of any text over here, I am using another if formula. So this is an advanced version. So here again, I'll do, I'll be doing a calculation. So I'll enter another bracket and I'll say this cell minus this cell. All right. Bracket close should be greater than 1.5 times of the cost all right and if that is true then it is a hit if it is not 1.5 times cost then it should be average so I'll mention average I'll close the bracket now oh I forgot to put a bracket over here hence the error and we'll put one more bracket over here Press enter and we get our answer. See, this is how we use the if statement. This is a very simple version. This is a slightly advanced version. And then this is a super advanced version. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please click on the thumbs up symbol and please do share it with your friends so that they can also benefit from it and do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So until the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.